In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Everbee Chrome extension. Now, if you don't yet have an Everbee subscription and you wanted to try it out for free, feel free to click my link at the very top of this video's description and you'll be taken to this page where you can click this use for free button to try it out. Now, in order to actually download and use the Everbee Chrome extension, we must first go to the Chrome web store and just search for Everbee. And from there, you should be able to find this page. From there, there'll be a button up here that says add to Chrome. But as you can see, because I've already got it installed, mine says remove from Chrome. Now, once you've actually got it installed, we can head over to Etsy and we can start using it. So as you can see, I've got mine set up now. So we can see this little toolbar on the left hand side. And also, if we search for something like spreadsheet, we will actually be able to see more data such as the monthly searches. And if we click see more, it will open up that word into the keyword research tab. And it will tell us the search volume, the competition, the keyword score, as well as any other related keywords. However, that's not all we can do with the Everbee extension. As you can see here, I've loaded up a monthly budget spreadsheet on Etsy, and we can now see a button over here that says analyze listing. And when we click on that, it will open up this side panel and it will show us all of the listing details. So it'll show us the estimated monthly sales, as well as their revenue, and all this other data which we can read and learn from and then try and integrate into our own Etsy shop. But other than that, the Everbee Chrome extension works pretty much the same as Everbee itself does. It just integrates into Etsy so you can kind of use both at the same time and you can use those Everbee buttons to find the keyword research and also some product analytics. However, everything else will pretty much work the same and we can just choose wherever we want to go. And when we're done looking at the Everbee screen, we can select minimize to go back to Etsy and we can click the X to fully get rid of it and just have this little sidebar. So that's how you can use the Everbee Chrome extension. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to try Everbee out for yourself for free, click my link at the top of the description and then choose the try for free button on their homepage. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.